All right, what's up, guys? My name is Jonah, and today we're about to play a game called Crimes and Punishments Sherlock Holmes. Don't really know much about it, but since I know Sherlock Holmes is in it, it's probably going to be a detective thingy. So, uh, without any further ado, let's um, get into it. Oh. <laughs> uh, um, uh, Holmes? Ah! Hey, uh, Jesus. Um, you, 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 I don't understand. Go. Hey, Holmes? Are you. Go, 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 go. How many bullets does that gun have? Ah! Go. Go, 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 go. Ah! Get him. Stop, Holmes. Is that you, Watson? Yes, of course it is. And you almost killed me. Nonsense. I was aiming for the vases. Blindfolded? Watson, quiet, please. I'm trying to concentrate. Ah, Lestrade. What is it this time? He can see me. Well, here it is, and it's a good one, Mr. Holmes. A gentleman by the name of Peter Carey, also known as Black Peter, has been murdered. A sailor, most probably. What happened here? Oh, Mr. Holmes, how could you? It's the only exercise I've had all week. A grateful client from Limoges sent me a vase collection this morning. I couldn't think of a better use for it. You're out of your mind. I missed four out of ten. Given you were blindfolded, that was very good. Can I have a try? Am I the only sane one here? I suppose that Watson is right, Inspector. A little brain work would be preferable now. Do please tell us more about Black Peter. Peter Carey, born in 1845 and 50 years old. An ambitious sort, he achieved much success in seal and whale hunting around Scandinavia. Retired in 1884 with a small fortune. He invested his money in a property called Woodman's Lee, near Forest Row in Sussex. It was where he lived for six years, and where he was found dead yesterday. Has the investigation already begun? Yes and no. In fact, this crime is so mysterious that I would prefer you to join me down there. Give me half an hour to prepare, Inspector. Take your time and join me there. I have to go through the yard first. The Medi Men struck again. What have they done this time? They robbed a powder reserve. I'll meet you at Woodman's Lee, Mr. Holmes. I should help Mrs. Hudson here. I also have several appointments that I must keep this afternoon. I shall go alone then. Uh, all right, press X to open the cast board and check your current progress and in the investigation. Task, evidence, and etc. All right, let's do that. The profile victim, Peter Carsey, also known as Black Peter, born in 1845 and so 50 years old. He achieved great success while hunting in Scandinavia, retired in 1884, eventually moving into Woodman Lee. Okay. Alright, well. Alright, well, we need to get ready, I guess. Oh, I guess I just press A. Oh. Uh, oh. 
Just tabs. All right. Hmm. I cannot leave yet. I am not finished here. Oh, it's a fast travel map thing. Okay. Investigate murder. All right. Investigate tasks. All right. Investigate the murder of Peter Carsey. And inspect the crime scene at Woodman Lee. And select a suit to wear using your personal wardrobe. Okay. So. It's from bottom to top. That's how this works. All right. Uh, what's your name? Watson? Hey, Watson. You go along to Peter Kerr's house. Mrs. Hudson and I will take care of the mess you've made here. Um, I appreciate it. Um, you just jealous because I have a better shot than you. Okay. How do you say about this, Miss Peterson? Or Miss oh, Hudson? What a mess! What a terrible mess! Man, it's pretty impressive there's no bolt holes in the ground. Really? Open the door. Can't do that yet. I need to... Oh, there's a wardrobe. Let's open this joker up. Hmm. Sale outfit? Eh. Unbuttoned suit? Eh. Casual suit? Eh. Black suit? Eh. Brown suit? Eh. Green suit? Eh. Gray suit? Eh. Light suit? Eh. Bandit outfit. Farmer outfit. Morning grow. Okay, well, we're going bandit. Alright. Yep. I am now a bandit. I am not a bandit. <sighs> Alright, well, um, Watson, you keep watching. Miss Hudson, uh, sorry, let's get here. We're going to Woodman's Lee. Mr. Holmes, I'm over here. Come on. All right, come on, Lestrid. All right, well, the cops are here. Hope you don't mind me stepping on. Well, never mind. I can't step on your crap. That'd have been a rude thing to do. Let me examine this garden real quick. that the garden was well maintained. Hmm. It was pretty good. Still pretty good. No, it was an old lady. I thought she was standing up. Strad, when will you remove my husband's body? It's sacrilegious to leave him here like this. As soon as we can, Mrs. Carey, I assure you. Allow me to introduce you to Mr. Sherlock Holmes. He's a detective. No doubt you've heard of him. I'll wait for you in front of the cabin, Mr. Holmes. My condolences, Mrs. Carey. Thank you, Mr. Holmes. Anything unusual that night? Madam, can you tell me if you saw or heard anything unusual upon the night of the murder? At two o'clock in the morning, I heard a terrible scream. But I thought nothing of it then. He would scream all the time when he was drunk. Hmm. <clears throat> evening before the murder. Can you please tell me what occurred on the evening of the murder? Well, Peter got drunk in the evening. He was in such a terrible temper. Usually whenever that happened, he'd stay all night drinking in his cabin before passing out. When was the body found? Do you remember at what time you found your husband's body? In the morning, at around seven o'clock. I noticed the cabin door was open, but I didn't go in to take a look, for I knew my husband would not have liked it. At around ten o'clock, I dared to glance in through the door and... Oh dear. Did he have any visitors? Was your husband accustomed to receiving visitors? Oh no, I don't think so. I mean, he didn't really have many friends. He lived quite an isolated life here, after his retirement. Is there a gardener? The garden is very large and well maintained. Do you employ someone to look after it? It is true. Well, there is a lot of work, but my husband took care of it himself. Hmm. What's this X? Oh. Hmm. Cameo. 
Uh, birdhouse. Garden gloves. And uh, a cross. Crucifix. Catholic rosary. Hmm. And her eyeball. I missed something. What I miss? A crystal. Everything will become easier. Hey, everything will become easier. Oh. Okay, well. All right. Thank you, madam. Well, it's kind of clear who did this, because you're telling me an old lady. Look at this. Look at this. Okay, so two at in the morning, right? Two in the morning, she heard the scream. So you tell me this old lady, her husband was in here. You tell me this old lady just stood up all night in her house. Out of that, or she fell asleep and woke up. Five hours later. And that's saying she fell asleep right after she heard that noise. Sounds most fishy. Let me talk to this Mr. Jugger. Holmes? Mr. Holmes? Mr. Mr. Holmes? Mr. Ho Mr. Ho Mr. Holmes. Okay. Hey, uh. Wait a second. Check this lady out. Wait, I need to actually freaking. I don't know. I guess I'm gonna go down here. Hey, uh. You might want to handcuff that lady. I'm pretty sure she's the one that did it. Yep. Job is done. Peter Carey's body is inside the cabin. We took care not to touch anything. Yeah, you better not. See me? me Slap you in the face. Hey, uh, can I go in? Mr. Holmes? Mr. Ho Mr. Holmes? Okay, well. The door is locked. Wait just a moment, Mr. Holmes, and I'll open it. I locked it yesterday to ensure that no one should enter the cabin and tamper with the evidence. Ah, good thinking. Hello, hello, hello. What is it, Lestrade? It seems to me that someone has tried to force it, Mr. Holmes. Let me see. Uh oh. Uh oh. What do you have to say about this policeman? Mr. Holmes? That's what I thought. Let's check it out. Ah. Uh, RB. You concentrate your attention on finding details that others are inclined to overlook. Well, there's obvious scratches. These scratches are fresh. You're right. Someone tried to force open the door. I swear these scratches were not here yesterday. Now, a mysterious visitor came here last night. Well, he's not the man for the job. This lock is not a difficult one. Perhaps he did not have the right tool. Let's go inside now. What a terrible way to die. Uh, Jesus. I was expecting him to be like sprawled out on the floor. I didn't think he was going to be like jacked up against the wall. Uh, check a wooden chest. Mm, chest contents. Taking your boots. boots. They look to be a size 8. I guess we're just keeping that. Old navigation instruments. Nothing interesting. It's all interesting. How dare you? Hmm. The ship's logs of the Sea Unicorn for the years 1878 to 1884. Peter Carey was her captain. Hmm. Well, let's see what's here. Sperm whale tooth. The Ooh. tooth of a sperm whale. Probably from one of Peter Carey's catches. Jesus. Back in the days, that junk must have been horrifying to catch. I mean, back in now. Now, of course. Policeman, what do you have to say about that? Mr. Holmes? Okay. Uh. 
Let's examine the table. Dirty glass. Dirty Someone glass. Drank from this glass recently. Tobacco pouch. Let's take it. Ooh, P. G. I think. The initials P. C. Have P. C. Been crudely burned. A sailor's work. Let's flip this sticker around. Let's look at it. All right. All right. Rum, a sailor's drink. It seems that Captain Carey was enjoying a drink before he met his death. Hmm. Now let's check the most important part of the scene. I can't check that. Okay, well. Hmm. What's going on with the shelf? Oh, this outline place of dust. This is not covered in <clears throat> dust, like the rest of the shelf. An object was taken from here. It was oh. larger than a book, a box, or a small chest, perhaps. Oh. Okay, so there's a box taken out of here too. Hmm. Ah. The weapon get? fully penetrated the body. The force of the blow was immense. Jesus. Hmm. Sea knife. This wooden what handle? handle is plain and solid. All right, and the blade. This blood is from the pool underneath the dead body. Peter Carey tried to defend himself with this knife, but he did not succeed. I mean, that's obvious. Notebook. J H N. J H N are probably the initials of the owner of this notebook. Well, we got our first suspect. All right. <clears throat> All right. The Sea Unicorn. She was the ship that Peter Carey commanded. Hmm. All right. Is everything I look at in there. Mr. Holmes? No. Have you finished inspecting the crime scene? Have you finished? I guess not. This man is in his 50s, yet he still looks quite strong. Peter Carey was fully dressed. He was not caught by surprise. It is possible that he knew his murderer. Peter Carey was impaled to the wall by a whaling harpoon. Okay. Yeah. Okay, let's read her. Judith Carey. Judith's from the country somewhere near the ancient pine woods of Innervest of Severlith in Scotland. Where the crest tilt bird can be found. She is religious and overtook a St. James Way privilege pilgrimage to the Cathedral of San when she was a young woman. I'm bad at reading. Peter Carey. Peter Carey was born in 1845 and was 50 years of age. He was a daring and successful seal and whale hunter. He commanded a whale, the whale air sea unicorn of Dundee. For many, for many successful expeditions in 1884, he retired and traveled for some years. In 1884, he retired and traveled. In 1884, he retired and traveled for some years. For the remaining six years of his life, he lived at Woodman's Lee. The murder weapon was probably taken from this rack. Let me go up here and check on this lady. Coming, I'm coming. Yeah, just wait for me. Mr. Holmes? 
Mr. Holmes. Don't you dare call me that boy. Peter's private papers. Your husband's private papers. Do you know where they are? There was a small tin box, barely larger than a book. He kept his papers there. It should be somewhere in his cabin. Oh. Everything will become easier. You have indeed suffered a great loss, Mrs. Carey. Nevertheless, I believe it will be less of a burden for you soon. Yes. Life with Peter was never easy. But he was still my husband. He was different, wasn't he? When you first met him upon your return from Plymouth. Yes, Mr. Holmes. Oh my goodness, but how do you know about that? How do you know about that? Uh, profile of the victim, pilgrimage, well kept the garden, outline in the dust, pilgrimage. You undertook a pilgrimage to the Cathedral of Santiago de Compostela when you were young. That much is evident from the rosary in your hand. The shortest route for the pilgrim from England to Spain is from Plymouth. I believe that you met Peter Carey as a young sailor there, and you married him soon afterwards. That is indeed what happened, Mr. Holmes. How extraordinary. Thank you, madam. Yeah, my pressing old people. I know you did it. I know I see your old guilty face. I know you killed him. I know you did it. <laughs> okay, so there's something down here I missed. One thing that's down here is this book, though. I'll flip it like this to open it. I can tell it be it can be open. Hmm. The pattern oh. of the blood stain indicates that the notebook was not lying on the floor prior to the crime, but it was dropped into the pool of blood after the death of Peter Carey. Well, let's open this joker and see what happens. Well, that's one These thing. These abbreviations mean something, but what? Hmm. Check the evidence. A notebook was found at the crime scene with initials JHN. There are the following abbreviations inside. ASM, TY, BRS, O M T I T K R A N O J I N T Give me one minute C P R K K C O L W P O T Q E Hmm Well Alright I guess I got all the evidence now Have you finished inspecting the crime scene? No, I guess I haven't. Oh, press Y. Uh-oh. Notebook. Wait, what am I doing? Okay, help. What is this? Find a pair to relay. Find a pair of relative clues and they'll form a data conduction. Red color signifies an unattachable clue combination. Alright. So, no gardener. Notebook, missing box, pinned to the wall. Hmm. Breaking attempts. Several unsuccessful attempts were made to break in according to the scratches along the rock. No lock. Pinned to the wall. Peter Carey's body was impaled to the wall with a harpoon through the chest like a butterfly. Okay, no gardener. Judith Carr says her husband took care of the garden himself. That does not sound feasible. She might be hiding something. Breaking in temps. Oh wait, I've seen that. Notebook. Leather on the notebook. Okay, you know what? This this has something to do with this. No, it does not. This has something to do with this. No, this has something to do with this. This? Okay. Draw a clear picture of the crime. And wait, what? Wait, what? Let's say some facts of. Okay, well, you make 
Task, make an ambush. Ambush must be made tonight to see if the break incident will be repeated. Okay. Ha, huh. someone was here yesterday. They attempted to force the door to gain entry. Hmm. Organize an ambush. All right. Let's see. Complete. Uh. Tasks. Investigate murder. <laughs> Organize an ambush with Lestrade and find the mysterious intruder might return tonight to finish what he planned. Okay. Hey, uh, Lestrade. Um. It's going down, buddy. Hello, Mr. Holmes. What do you think? I think that we are lucky. And why is that? Because of last night's attempted break-in. Oof. You've lost me. It is very probable that whoever came here hoped to find the door open. They tried to force it with a knife blade, but they failed. What will they do? Why, return tonight, when they will be better prepared. Aha! So what do you propose? We shall remain on the outside, near the window, where we stand the best chance of catching sight of our visitor. Well, gentlemen, ready your pistols. We have a long night ahead of us. All right, let me tell uh, the missus that uh, things are going to go down. Who could do such a thing? My I don't know. Husband. Shut up. We need to find a good place for an ambush. Oh, yeah, okay. So now I look behind the house. This be a good spot. This looks like the perfect hiding place. Did you hear that? There's someone there. I'm gonna collar him. I'll be right behind you. Police! Hold it right there! Oh, you're busted, boy. You're busted. I'm gonna show you how it's done around here. Wait, Mr. Holmes. <laughs> All right, my fine fellow. Who are you, and what are you doing here? You're detectives, I suppose. You imagine that I'm connected with the death of Captain Carey. I assure you, I'm innocent. Innocent? And what are you doing in his cabin? Shall I tell you? You came to retrieve what you had lost after killing Peter Carey, but we were here waiting for you. What is your name? John Hopley Nelligan, but I... I didn't... Do you deny that you came here yesterday? No, but... but I... yes, it, it's just that I couldn't... I'm tired of this. Off we go to the yard. Tomorrow, I'll see that you're put in front of the judge. What? But you can't! I'm not... it's a terrible mistake! Enough! You can explain all of that to the judge. You're coming with me to the yard. But... In light of recent events, it seems evident that your coming here was unnecessary. All the same, I'm very grateful to you, Mr. Holmes. You are welcome, Inspector. But please don't be too hard on our young fellow. I would like to question him tomorrow morning. <laughs> Y'all bite them all, yeah, I'm burning it up DPGC, you should be turning Turn it up, up. CPT, LBC, yeah, we hooking back up uh -huh. And when they bang us in the club, baby, you got to get, get up. up Cause yeah. homies, thug homies, yeah, they giving what it up, up. Low up. life, yo life, boy, we living what it up up. up Taking chances while we dancing in the party for show yeah. Slip my girl a 44 when she crap in the back door Chickens looking at me strange, but you know I don't care Step up in this mother, just a swank in my head